The shooter who killed five people at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport last year will spend the rest of his life in prison. Esteban Santiago faced the families of the victims during his sentencing today, and our own Todd Tongan was there. He's live in Fort Lauderdale with the gripping statements from loved ones. Todd. What an emotional day inside federal court. Families and victims having to relive the nightmare that they lived through here at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. You might recall, Calvin and Lori, that at one point BSO thought there was a second shooter inside the parking garage. I was in that garage with my photographer. I'll never forget it. Thankfully, there wasn't a second shooter, but by then the damage had been done by Esteban Santiago. Everybody started running. January 6th. 2017 at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, the quiet baggage claim level in Terminal 2 became the site of the deadliest airport shooting in U.S. history. Today at the federal courthouse in Miami, 28-year-old Esteban Santiago, who pled guilty to 11 charges to avoid the death penalty, was sentenced to five life sentences for the five people he killed and an additional 120 years for the six others he gravely injured. Melissa Beauchamp's mother was killed and her father injured. She told the court she watches her father grieve every day and now a loving home is now a suffocating tomb for him. Through tears she said she misses her mother every day and looked at Santiago and said, you robbed me of my mother and my life. The mentally ill former Iraqi war veteran admitted responsibility but declined to address his victims and their families in court. Before the shootings, Santiago was briefly hospitalized for psychiatric care in Alaska retrieved a gun from his checked bag and unloaded 15 rounds inside the airport before emptying his clip and surrendering to Broward Sheriff's deputy. Inside the courtroom today, wearing a prison jumpsuit with a shaved head and bushy beard, Santiago nodded to his mother and sister, who quietly wept as the statement was read from Sherry Omi, whose husband of 31 years was killed. We will never forgive you for what you did. I hope you live a long life so you'll be haunted by your actions. On the day you die, your soul will rot in eternal damnation. And the judge said that she hoped that this sentence might bring some type of closure to the victims and their families. Uh, court appearances are not over just yet for Esteban Santiago. He'll have one on November 2nd to assess his assets, and then there'll also be another hearing for restitution for the victims' losses. Live at Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport, Todd Tongan, Local 10 News. Okay, Todd, thanks.